What's up, y'all? It's Amilinish Jr. with Clever News, and Kanye West's former bodyguard is spilling some serious tea on the most ridiculous rules he was forced to follow as a member of his private posse. It looks like Kanye West is just as extra in his private life as he appears to be in the public, according to his former bodyguard, Steve Stanulis, who decided to spill some dirt on Ye during a recent podcast. While sitting down with Vax Holt and Adam Glenn on their Hollywood Raw podcast, Steve, who is also a former NYPD officer and Chippendales dancer, didn't hesitate to share his experience about what working under Kanye West was really like. And you may want to sit down because this tea is pouring out like lava. When asked about some of Ye's rules he had for his staff, Steve mentioned that he was directed to walk exactly 10 paces behind Kanye at all times. He wanted you to stay 10 paces behind him on a city street. So again, obviously, if somebody's going to come up and, <laughs> you know, do something to him, by the time I, I'd run up to try to prevent it, it would already have happened. Mind you, Steve did mention that this all happened about 16 years ago, so we can only hope by this point that the NDA has fully expired. But Steve went on to detail another instance on his first day on the job, which just so happened to be during Fashion Week. Steve recalled when he and Kanye walked into an elevator together and basically all hell broke loose. Oh, I'm sorry, we walk in the elevator, he goes, aren't you gonna push the, uh, what floor we're going to? I said, well, I have no idea, it's my first day. So he starts ranting, you mean you didn't call ahead to find out where I'm supposed to be going. Steve said that eventually he told Kanye, quote, we can do this one of three ways. One, you could tell me what button to press and now I'll know. Two, you could press the button and I'll see which one you press so I'll know. Or three, you can sit in here all day and tell me how important your time is and we are not going to go anywhere. Again, this was our first interaction. He went for the first option. But the T didn't stop there. Steve also talked about the fact that there's no way that paparazzi just magically knows when Kim and Kanye will be walking in or out of anywhere. He basically confirms what we had all known about Kris Jenner and her ways all along, saying, first of all, there's no way paparazzi doesn't get called up front. There's no way every time they are leaving, all these people know about it. There's definitely somebody calling ahead. That's just my opinion. I'm just saying it's coincidental that wherever we are, they're always there. Maybe they're just better than I think they are. And on top of all of that, Steve then played a name that celeb game with the host where he learned even more about Kanye. Who was the neediest celebrity you worked with? Kanye West. <laughs> Who was the most moody? <laughs> Kanye said the same thing twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who was the worst tipper? Kanye. <laughs> I really don't know what else to say other than ouch. But on a positive note, when asked who he thought the hardest worker was, Steve was quick to mention Kanye, saying Kanye West. I always gave him props for that. Although it may seem like Steve burned some major bridges with the West clan, he revealed that Kanye is the one celebrity that he'd never work with again. So there's that. We know that this all happened years ago. And as Steve also mentioned, this was long before it was revealed that Kanye was slightly bipolar. It seems that with a healthy marriage and four beautiful children, Kanye has become a changed man and has been able to improve his mental health. On the other hand, being in isolation may not be helping Kim and Kanye as much as anticipated. Sources have revealed that the two are having a little bit of marital issues due to Kanye not helping around the house with the kids. Kim was spotted last week at a beach house in Malibu, and although it was unclear at the time whether Kanye accompanied her, an insider revealed, quote, she is trying to be a great mom, focus on law school and her work commitments. And it's hard to do all of this without Kanye helping as much as he can. The source added that Kanye's super controlling nature makes Kim feel as though he's been trying to impose his views on her life. So news of Kanye's behavior towards his staff doesn't come as quite a big shock. Be sure to let me know all your thoughts on Kanye's rules and if any of these surprise you down here in the comments. For more hot Hollywood tea, click right over here to see why Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson are taking legal action. I'm your host, Emilinus Jr., and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.